I'm here on Pippen's pregame with head coach Marcus McKimmy. Four to three win over the lefties, hitting to five double plays, four in the first four innings. Not the way you necessarily draw it up, but you get the win regardless. Yeah, you can't you can't practice hitting into that many in six innings. It's uh, it's a tough thing to do, man. But we did it. <laughs> yeah, how the the two out hitting we've talked about it before, but uh, in that fourth inning, hit into a double play, nobody on, two out. But you guys are able to rally back. Tyler Lash and Cam Campbell got on for for Cole Pofek to give you guys the lead. Right, something we've been doing really well lately, the last seven to ten days, and, and frankly, it's what good teams do are able to to create two out offense and have some timely hitting, uh, and on the flip side of that, get off the field with two outs, which we did really well at Bend, and and we did that last night as well. Uh, they they weren't able to get get a crooked one up there, and and our, our guys did a heck of a job at the back end to, to secure it. Connor White, five plus innings. Looked like he was working in and out in trouble, uh, walked a couple of guys, but he's able to give you five innings, just a couple of runs. Well, that's just a credit to him and, and our guys, right? We we didn't play very well at all last night, and we were still able to win the game, which uh, is is really a sign of a good team. I mean, it's not the way you draw it up. You don't you don't want to make a habit of that, but our guys are, are making more plays than, than the other team right now, and that's uh, ultimately but what you, you need to do over a 27-out baseball game and, and – Two out hitting, two strike hitting, some timely defense, and, and our guys are pitching. What went into the decision to send Matt Driver out for the ninth inning, one run lead, uh, to close it down? Wasn't really a decision at all. Was, you know, Matty, Matty was, was good to go. He's fresh, uh, had a really clean eighth inning. And uh, we've do we have guys behind him that they can get the job done too? Yeah, uh, but that wasn't really much of a decision. Chase Farrell faced this team. About a week and a half ago, best start of the year, 12 strikeouts over seven innings. What was he able to do so well in that start, and what can he do again facing this team a second time around in a couple of weeks? Well, Chase is going to have have a task, yeah, facing these guys so soon after they've already seen him. He was really good. It's a different different climate. It's different weather, different uh, different atmosphere. Now they like like we said, you know, and established, they've seen him. So uh, if he's able to execute pitches, we like. What, what his arsenal is able to do. Uh, but it, it's it's still two, a guy with a bat and a, and a guy with a ball. So we're, uh, you know, we, we've got to, we've got to play well uh, behind him and, and still score enough runs to win. But uh, Chase is ready to go and, and he's still looking for that first win. So he's motivated. All right, Pippins take on the lefties in game two of the series, looking for their seventh straight win, first pitch at 635.